So right now we're looking at a demonstration business to business pipeline. And to configure a sales bot, we would go from leads, then into setup. From here, you'll have a configuration screen, and this is where you can make a sales bot. So within the incoming lead stage, or in this case, we have an incoming Facebook question stage, you can click here to make a sales bot. This will bring up lead sources. We'll add the sales bot here. And you can set it up in a way where the sales bot executed when it's moved to a particular stage or when it's created in this stage. You'll probably want to use moved or created in this stage. And that's when a new person sends you a message on Facebook or another chat platform, then the bot will respond. You can also set it up in a way where it's only active at particular times. So using this menu, you could set it up where it's more like an answering service. So it could reply on certain days at certain times, for example, on the weekends or after hours. On this option, you have the option to leave the messages on red. So then in that case, if the sales bot is answering, it could be set up where either the messages get left on red and then uh, you can take a look at all the incoming chats or you can have it where it's not notifying you when those new messages come in. And that means, you know, the sales bot is just taking care of it for you. So let's go ahead and create a new bot and I'll show you some of the steps involved. So we'll go ahead and create a new bot. And the first step would probably be a greeting message of some kind. So we can say send message. Thank you for contacting us. Which topic can I assist you with today? And then from here, you can create buttons. And maybe we want it for, um, there's an inquiry about special events. Um, maybe there's another one for software sales. And maybe we have another option for a uh, partnership uh, inquiry. And please note that the buttons are supported in Facebook. However, in some of the other chat platforms, um, those would not appear as buttons. So the you know, customer would need to know these are the options. So in that case, you know, if you were connecting us to say Viber um, or Skype, you could do something like, thank you for contacting us. Which topic can I assist you with today? Um, special events, software sales, partnership question. And then the person would then assume that, oh, okay, I can ask about special events, software sales, or a partnership question. Now that we've set that up, we can set up our next steps. So you can see here that these are pointing to next steps and you have to be careful that they're matching up. So I can see, you know, this one's pointing to that one, that one's pointing to that one, this one points to that one. And then what we can do is add a next step. And if they say special events, we could say perform an action. And let's say set field. So then if we set it to that, I've already created a custom field for this. So we could say product interest. And this one's software sales. Oh, special events. And then this one would be perform action. And we can set the field on this one. So it's a lead, product interest, and software sales. And then on this third one, we'll do perform action, set field, choose from the custom fields we've created. And this one's for if they have questions about becoming like a partner of your business. We can also add additional actions here, or we could have it go to the next step. Now you might think that in this scenario that we would need to make three different answers. And in some cases that's true and in some cases it's not. So you could have it do custom answers 
based on which type of thing they want to learn about, or you can connect them all together and funnel it into one thing. Let me show you how. So in this case, what we can do is say add next step, send a message and say, uh, thank you. Um, a rep will contact you shortly. See, so, and what we have is we have one here, and we can go ahead and connect these in. So we can say, go to another step, and we're gonna point it to send message, which is this one right here, it's a six. And we'll also point this one to that as well. So we'll say, go to another step, send message. We could also add in an additional thing here if we wanted. So we could, instead of saying, thank you, a rep will contact you, we could say, you know, um, thanks. May I have your phone number, please? And then we'll go ahead and add an action. So we'll say, set field, the, uh, so in this case, we're telling it to set the contacts card phone number based on the phone number received from the message. And now we can tell it to send another message. Thanks, a uh, rep will contact you soon. And then at the end of this, we would stop the sales bot. So otherwise you could run into the potential where it will ask the questions again, or if they say something else, then something else might happen. And before we leave this screen, let's take a look at some of the other actions you could do. So for example, on this one, I could have it add a note. So in this case, uh, once we've received that phone number, it could add a note. We could also have it change to a different status. So in this case, once we have received their phone number and what topic they're interested in, I wanna move that lead status to initial contact. And in a moment, I'll show you how you can set up things in the digital pipeline that once it's in that stage, we can then assign it based on the fields that have been filled out. You could also have it send an internal message. And the internal message go to your users in your account. So it could be something like, um, maybe it's an additional alert, you know. Um, and then, so now once we've collected what topic they're interested in and their phone number, it's gonna also send out that internal message to everyone saying, you know, there's a new information request. Please help this guy. You can also set sales values. So let's, instead of saying, well, actually on that one, so in this one, what would be a good representation? You could have it in a way where, thanks, a rep will contact you. Um, by the way, uh, in this case, we're saying thanks, and then we're also at the end collecting, you know, potential information about. You know, how many units of something are they planning to order? Just as an example. And then we could say add an action, and we could set the sales value. And what could also happen here is um, you could have that internal thing go out, you know, and it would say, what is the sales value? So it would ask you that. 
and then you would send a chat to the sales bot and tell it, you know, I'll put in a hundred or a thousand. And then it would stop the bot and one of your representatives could handle it. And that's um, pretty much some of the things you can do with the sales bot. We'll also show you there is a way to do custom code, which I'll show you with another sales bot. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and save that. So you saw in the sales bot that I said, once we've collected the information, move it to initial contact. And I have it set up right here where if the custom field says software sales, it'll get assigned to me. If the custom field says special events, it'll get assigned to a different user. And if it's partnership, there's a third user that handles those requests. So there's a way to segregate it based on topic. And to set up another one, you can just click here and it would be the change responsible user. And this is where you would say for all leads with the condition of, and it would be product interest, and you would select which one, and when it's moved to the stage, and you'd select which user you want. And in terms of creating these custom fields, you can go to leads and open any lead card. And then you can go to setup. And this is where you would set up these custom fields. So that one I had where we're having them choose the topics, that's my product interest. And to do it like that, you would have a select. So you'd say add field, select, and this could be, you know, maybe it's the ad source, like you might have the bot ask a question about, you know, how did you hear about us? And it could be Facebook, uh, word of mouth, um, Google, um, trade show. You know, or this could be used for, you know, maybe it's a type of subscription. So if you have customers asking you about like, how long do you want to sign up? You know, the options here could be six months, 12 months, and two years. So there's various things you can do with this. And if it was just a single thing, such as the phone number, when they ask the phone number, that's actually going to this already created field for phone. But you could ask for different ones as well. So you could have a custom field for the zip code. You could ask them that question and collect their zip code and then have that custom field filled out. So it's very flexible to suit your needs. And that's all for this demonstration. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or require assistance. Thanks and have a great day.